In this video, we're going to have a look at proof by induction and we're going to go through inequalities. Now, these get a little bit difficult because you, you sort of get numbers from out of nowhere. I'll show you what I mean. So step number one, as always, is to show the initial case is true. For the initial case, we choose the smallest number that n could be. In this case, n equals 4 is the smallest of our options. And we show that when n equals 4, both sides of the equation satisfy this inequality. So let's do that. 3 to the power of 4, I'm sure you guys know that's... So it's taking me a bit of time, but it's 81. And if we substitute n equals 4 into the right hand side, we get 5 multiplied by 2 to the power of 4. 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 16, and 5 times 16 is 80. And so it's clear to you guys that 81 is greater than 80, so the initial case is satisfied. Now we're going to make an inductive statement. We're going to assume that for when n is equal to k, upon the same boundaries that was made before, when k is bigger than or equal to 4, we're going to assume that 3 to the power of k is bigger than 5 multiplied by 2 to the power of k. After this, um, I always advise my students to write down what you want to show. What we want to show is that when n is equal to k plus 1, that 3 to the power of k plus 1 is actually greater than 5 multiplied by 2 to the power of k plus 1. To get to this expression, all I did was I replaced k with k plus 1. Now to show that, we're going to go back to actually substituting in n equals k plus 1 into this side here. When we do that, we get 3 to the power of k plus 1. We can split this up into 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of k. The reason you want to do that is so that you can include the inductive statement. This is our inductive statement, and so we can say that because we're multiplying 3 onto the left-hand side, it will be greater than what we get when you multiply 3 onto the right-hand side. So 3 times 5 times 2 to the power of k. 3 times 5 is equal to just 15, so we can write it's equal to 15 times 2 to the power of k. But how do we show that this expression here is greater than this expression here? Well, first of all, you'd need this to be an even number so that you can split it up into something times 2 because that 2 can then multiply to 2 to the power of k to give you 2 to the k plus 1. In this case, we can set this as being greater than 14 multiplied by 2 to the power of k. Now, you might think you just pulled a number out of nowhere. Well, I pretty much did. All we needed was an even number to, that's less than 15 um, so that we can separate this into... A multiple of 2. The reason you want to separate into a multiple of 2 like I mentioned before is because 2 times 2 to the power of k is equal to 2 to the power of k plus 1. That's useful because we definitely know that this is greater than 5 multiplied by 2 to the power of k plus 1 because of the fact that 7 is greater than 5. After that we've pretty much proved the statement. So it's a lot of um, inequalities and sort of like pulling at straws here, pulling numbers out of nowhere. But after that you can make your sort of last statement can say hence by proof of induction um, the whole statement is true I'm being a little bit lazy but you just make that 3 to the power of n is greater than 5 times 2 to the power of n for all integers n is greater than or equal to 4 that's everything for this video be sure to leave a like if this video helped and subscribe I'd appreciate it a lot Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching your video. I hope it helped. If you have any tutoring inquiries for A-Level Further Maths, be sure to hit my website up at www.excelineducation.co.uk. 